Okay, in baseball they only have double headers, but in Ion Shiram they have triple headers. So here's Daf Ayin Tes. Daf Ayin Tes. The Gemara had a Shaila on the bottom of Ayin Tes. If you steal Vlad Behemas Milug, you steal a woman brought into the marriage, a cow. We're going to call the cow Frank. After all, that's not, he may turn into that very soon. And Frank had a baby. Actually, Franks can have babies. We'll call it Frankette, a female cow, yeah? And she had a baby. And someone steals the baby. Who, who gets the kefel? It goes to her. So the Gemara said that doesn't go like anybody because normally the, the ownership of this Vlad, maybe there's an opinion, Vlad Shivchas Milug goes to the woman. But everybody agrees, Vlad Behemas Milug goes to the Baal. It's his Pera. So then, if it belongs to the husband, then why wouldn't the husband get the Kefel? So Gemara said, Pera Tekinu Rabbanon, Pera De Pera Loi Tekinu Rabbanon. This is the 6th and 7th line on Ayin Tes Amad Beis. Fruits, the rabbis gave the guy. Fruits of fruits, the rabbis did not give the guy. So there are a number of questions here. One being it's not true, because if this cow had a baby, had a grandson, it would go to the husband. So we see that the husband does get fruits of fruits. Question number two, how would that make sense? The husband owns the fruits, so then why wouldn't he get the kefal? It's almost worse a bigger question based on the Ar Sameach that we just learned. If the pshat was, he owns the karka for the fruits, meaning it's her, the land is hers, the cow is hers, he owns the cow for the offspring, but the rest of the cow she owns. So I can understand. He gets the the offspring, he doesn't get the kefel, he only owns the cow for the offspring. He doesn't own the cow for anything else. So I can understand how she gets the kefel. But if, like the Ar Sameach says, she, the Chachamim just give him the offspring. The Chachamim say, here, you own this off, you own this baby. He owns the baby, then the kefel should go to him. <laughs> it's, it's even... A stronger question. Again, the question is how could it be he owns the child but he does not own the what comes from the child. He does not own the kefel. It's a stronger question l'chaira according to the Ar Sameach. If the pshat is he has ownership in the mother for the child, great. He has ownership in the mother for the child but he does not have ownership in the mother for, for the kefel. But if he just owns the child, so if he owns a child, so uh, he should get the kefal. So let's look at the Shita Mekubetzas over here. Peru de Peri Loi Tekin Rabbanon. So the first thing the Shita Mekubetzas says is, the Rabbanon were not masakin to give him fruits of fruits, perish the Asume Alma, that come from the Velta Rhein, could go in kefal. Like kefal, the Vlad Behemas Milog. Or kagoyin toivas hana de ksuba de parakachoyval. It's only the rabbis didn't give something that comes from the cow, if it's not directly from the cow. It's from the velta rain, from an outside source. Avo peir de peir de osmi gufe. But the fruits of the fruits that come from the body of the cow, kagoyin vlad shel behemas mi lug. That we say pshita de tekinu le rabbanon. That's pasha the rabbis gave him. The tanan we learned beferus be parakachoysev lo oylam hu oichal peire peirois. Now, if you steal, now like this, what if somebody would steal, not the offspring of the 
cow, so that's para the para. What if somebody stole a cow milug? That should go to the husband because only para the para doesn't go to the husband. But the peros itself should. The That's one fruit. So it come out that which belongs to the woman, he gets the kefal. And that which belongs to him, which is the offspring, hakefal isha. And that's strange, right? Think about it. The Gemara says that the kefal of the offspring goes to her. What about the kefal of the cow itself? I don't know, we would assume it would go to him. So it would come out rather unusual that kefal from something that belongs to her goes to him, and so, namely of the cow which belongs to her, the kefal goes to him, and the cow's child which belongs to him, the kefal goes to her. But Taisa says, Avo Batoisus Vashem Rivan Zal, the Koshikane Goine Behemis Milog Asma, the kefal Isha. Taisa says, Of course, not only if you steal the offspring, the kefal goes to her, if you steal the cow itself, the kefal goes to her. I but it's his cow. I'm sorry. I but it's the kefal goes to the woman. And the logic is very simple. If the offspring, which belongs to him, she gets the kefal, certainly the cow, which belongs to her, she should get the kefal. So I want to focus on one line in, in the Shittim Kuvetzes that he quotes on the Rivash, an amazing line. Again, basically we're saying that the din that we don't give him, pera de pera, is when it comes from the Veltarain. But if the cow would have a cow, we do give it to him. Meaning if you steal Vlad Behemas Milug, that's the Pera. The, the Kefel goes to her. But if this cow, the Vlad would have a child, that would go to him. Not only that, this din that she gets the Kefel is not only if you steal the Vlad, even if you steal the cow itself. Because the cow itself certainly belongs to her. Now the question though is, what is the logic? What's the logic? That the child belongs to the husband. And again, according to the Arsameach, it's not just he owned the mother for the child. The rabbis gave him the child. So if the rabbis gave him the child, then the kefal should go to him. And here's the key line on this sugya. The rabbis never even gave him the child. The rabbis gave him use of the child. He doesn't own Peirois. So not only does he not own the karka for the Peirois, he doesn't own the Peirois either. He has rights to the Peirois. I mean, the question is, if he owned the fruit, then how could the kefal go to the woman? The woman doesn't own the fruit. The answer is, the woman does own the fruit. So then why, is, why do we give the fruit to him? We don't give it to him to own, we just let him use it. It's like if you come to my house and use my silverware, you don't own my silverware, you have rights of usage to it. So when a, a husband marries a wife, he doesn't own the fruits. A, a husband does not own the payrolls of Nechsemilog. He has rights to use them. Einon Shaloi Legamri. Here, look. Vetaima. This is Mamish. Three lines on the Rivash is the key to the Sugya. Vetaima Misham de Payrolls Nechsemilog. Einon Shaloi Legamri. 
the fruits are not completely his, to do his will, he could just eat them, but he wants to make kefo from them? No, he can't. He doesn't own it. The fruits aren't his. The fruits are, he has rights of usage on the fruits. Rabbi Isai, have a great day. Recording stopped.